checking in. I'm glad you're here. A ray of beauty and light is always kind. Thank you, you guys. All right, let's see if Nancy's going to come on now. You guys are first in. You're very quick at doing this. Very impressed with the technology that's going on here. Woo-hoo! Fried chicken TV. All right, I'm glad you guys are all back on here again. Thank you, Chris. Oh my goodness, what's going on there? What's going on? We're waiting for Nancy, here she is. What's up, Steven? Oh, here we go with the questions. Let's see if I got some questions. So ah. you're, you're on top. Did it work though? Yeah. Oh, and you can hear me. I and can. We got this. Ah. Woo! I got a new phone too. Maybe that's what's changed. You did. Which one did you get? It's the iPhone 13. Woo! Fancy. Girl. Fancy. Yeah. Fancy. Fancy. Did you get? Paper. Did you get the big one? I did not. I I I didn't get the big one because big ones are not always better. Size All right. Matter. Anyway, um, uh, I was going to try to get on TikTok. Welcome, you guys, to Live with Wild Women with Wine. Tonight, I'm drinking a Pinot Grigio by Karen Birmingham from Naked Wines. What are you drinking there, Nance? It's white. <laughs> That's all I know. It's, it's white just, and wet. It's I wet came and in, white. I came in so fast tonight. I mean, literally, I jumped out of the car, ran in the house. I was impressed that you got on before me. I yeah. I mean, After I just all that. Whew, yeah. So I've been sitting on my butt for the last eight hours. Driving. Driving. Riding. Mark did the driving today. Nice. So thanks for your support and badges tonight. Karen and I yeah, were just turned on. And... Some badges. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, there's out how... Megan. Megan, the blue hair girl. Get wild. Get wild, ladies. Yeah, we're yeah. just so, we're getting nuts right now. I'm just trying to figure out how to get TikTok out of here. Okay. Let's see. Just trying to do TikTok. Oh, there we go. Okay. I think I got this. I think I got all three things going here. This is a minor miracle. All right, let's see if it works. So I wonder what it would be like for you and I to be at Hedonism in Jamaica together. Oh boy, Hedonism in Jamaica. What that do you would be think? What do you think that would bring out in you? I'd become very spontaneous. I know myself. Yeah. My sex bucket list would be activated. <laughs> so if, like if just you and I went. Just alone and nobody else was there? Well, I mean, it would, the, the regular people would be there, you know, oh, the okay. other guests, but we didn't go with other people we knew. We just went and just could, like, it's like, you know, if a tree falls in the forest and nobody's there to see it, does it fall kind of thing. Yeah. So you think, you think that, oh, look at your bite in your lip. <laughs> I'm biting. I'm biting my lip. Um, yeah, you I are. don't know. I don't know what would happen if I went to hedonism with you. You're a wild chick. I don't know if I could keep up with you. Oh, you see, people think I'm really wild. I'm not really not that wild. Yeah, it's it's all a pretense. Yeah, I mean, I, I've had wild times, but you're not wild. I can. Well, a friend, a very good friend of mine, <laughs> said to me um, because this person has worked with me for many years at, during events at hedonism okay. so they see the work side of me yes and then and then i was there with this person not in a not in a like in the same capacity of work yes and they said to me wow you're really fun <laughs> yeah, they were kind of shocked like it was exactly. a surprise that's nice <laughs> well it was I nice but uh, but it made me realize my God, I must be a real bitch the rest yeah. of the time. <laughs> the rest of the time you're a bitch, and right now you're being really nice. Um, I want to welcome the TikTokers here. Hi, okay. TikTok, TikTok family here. I'm on with my friend, Dr. Nancy Sutton Pierce. We're also doing a live 
uh, YouTube and Instagram. So you, if you can't find us on one of these platforms, you ain't going to find us. Right. So we do this every Thursday night, Wild Women with Wine. We talk about different topics of interest. And if you guys have any questions or ideas that you want to talk about, let us know what those are. And uh, send a love by pushing my face with your pink, your, your finger because then you get little hearts coming up there. I like the little hearts. Does that happen on uh, Instagram too? Instagram, yeah. Push the, push, push the hearts on Instagram, you guys. There we go, we're getting some hearts. Oh, we're getting some love. Buddy, we're getting love. I don't see but little hearts. You don't see little hearts coming? No. Give us some love, give us some hearts. Thank you, you for- my that. finger on your face. You know what's happening. <laughs> Thank you, Robert, and all the people that are joining right now. Uh, I've been seriously working on my abs for my for my hedonism trip in May. So ready to bend to go bend two years. Scratch it, scratch and win. Boom is gonna go to hedonism. All right. Well, I wish they would have booked through my 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 link. Next time you have them contact me, and I'll hook yeah, them up. Yeah, book, book through Dr. Nancy. She's gorgeous. He says. Sky says. It's appropriate if I date my former tutor. Mike would like to know if it's appropriate if I date my former tutor. Former, well, is the, former is the right word. Yeah. Are you both of legal age? Are you both legal, Mike? And um, she tutored me in high school. So far, so you're both legal, and you're not seeing. You're not. She's not working in a capacity to teach you. She's forty three. Right. Assuming you're in your twenties. Why not? Why not? I don't believe in the word appropriate. I think that's a nasty word. I mean, there's, 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 if it's not legal, of course, it's not appropriate. But if it's right. legal and it's right. consenting, legal. it's a consensual thing. Right. Have fun with her. She'll Mutually have consent. She'll have time. <laughs> Mutual consent is there. I'm, I'm being violated by my dog right now. Yes. But, yeah, what else is new? I am. I saw both, my, both my fingers have been punctured by my dog. Did you get the other one punctured too? Yes, yeah, the match, to... match, matching punctures. Thank you. Nancy healed my, my finger. She kissed it. And oh, I put a good I bandage say, on it. She teaches, she teaches at a Catholic school still. She might be really fun. We would have to be not, <laughs> we would have to not be publicly. Well, let, then don't, don't do anything public. Do, do it private. Um, anyway, if you're joining me, put those little hearts up there because, uh, then people know that I'm live, I guess. I don't know. Was this person still in high school? Nope. He graduated high school. He's legal. She's legal. And it's all going to be a good time. It's on his list. If it's on your list, have fun with it. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, what is going on back here? Um, anyway, any questions that you have, throw them at us right now. We don't have a ton of time left. So just throw the DZ Sports Cards the cards says we should do these in lingerie. That'll cost you. <laughs> you gotta buy first. You gotta buy the lingerie, and <laughs> then we have to. We, you gotta pay big bucks because we're not doing that for free. Well, I'm not doing it at all because I hate to tell you, DG, GG. Oh, Mr. Beans, on. I'm not a porn star, so I have no desire to do any kind of live streams in lingerie. I but just what if I my leave lingerie? That, I leave those to my friends who do that for a living, and they make my a lot lingerie of is is fleece. <laughs> yeah, I mean, where can I find cougars in Los Angeles? I don't know. Just go read my book. What are the it's cougar chapter? I'm finding cougars. It's yeah, it's yeah. called Fuck Games Day Cougars. Check it out. I think you guys are you supposed to? You're not supposed to say that on TikTok. Oh yeah, F uh, Star C K Games. Buddy's fighting it. Um, it's on Amazon, and I think you guys will like it. It, it will tell you all, everything you want to know about where to find and meet and what to say to older women. How do I have... Um, How to be attractive to older women. Yeah. I think that, that it's, it's That's a very how, to, good question. how to attract or how to find, how to hunt. How about how to just be an attractive person to okay. pers a person that has more life experience than you? That's a good question. <laughs> Eddie Spaghetti asked, do you play with couples? No. Um, 
Okay. What, lots of questions are coming in right now. So let's start with the first one, which was, how does one become attractive uh, to older women? How does one become attractive to older women? Well, See, I, what... I've done this, so many videos on this because I really do believe that both men and women are attracted to people that have a lot of confidence, not just yeah. not just fake confidence, but but self aware and confident. Those are like the, the keys to becoming attractive. Sophistication is a key. Well, that might go with the territory. I think you have to be interesting. Yeah, I, you can't just, you know, talk about sports. Although if it's the bear, I'd like to talk to you about it. Um, <laughs> but you can't, you know, attra attractiveness is so subjective. But I right. really believe that if you aren't confident, you're going to not be attractive to people. You have to be confident. It's about confidence and being respectful. Exactly, Johan. Right. Yeah, and and like I said, if, if you're interesting and you have interesting things to talk about and you know how yeah. to ask interesting you, questions Mr. B. And, you, and you know how to listen, th those are good qualities. Very good quality. Thank you, Ron and Mr. Bean, for all the the badges. We got badges. Oh, we going got badges. There. Somehow my mess, my my uh, thing is stuck. I'm not seeing all that going on over there. It's at the bottom of my screen here. It says badges. Oh. Um, where's a good to find to, good place to find sapiosexual women, sapiosexual women, um, people that are interested in, wait, sapiosexual, what does sapiosexual mean? I think I read, I learned about this, but I can't remember now where I know it. Hmm. We're stuck. Nancy's stuck. Nancy. Um, Kevin, tell me a little bit more what sapiosexual mean. Um, so if you're joining us on TikTok, I'm also live streaming on YouTube and on Instagram. I'm waiting for Nancy to come join us because she was a stuck. At what age in your life would you ladies say you were the most adventurous when it comes to the stage? Um, I don't know what it, sapiosexual is. Um, most adventurous for me was probably in college. Busy listening to the neighbors get in. Uh, oh, there we go. Sapiens extrasexuals are like big brains and they cannot lie. Oh, they, they like big brains and they cannot lie. They like big butts and they cannot lie. Um, so you like people with big brains, right? That's a, thank you, Megan, for letting us know. I got to accept this. I guess I got to bring Nancy back. Thank you for all those hearts too. There's a lot of hearts streaming in here like crazy. Accept her. Right, is she coming back now? There you go. <laughs> How'd you get on the bottom now? <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that's where you were before. I don't know what, what happened? happened. What happened? Well, we found I the answer to, with the sapiosexual, and it means uh, someone with a big brain and they cannot lie. No, okay. sapiosexual means that you're turned on, you're, you can be sexually turned on by thinking, uh, by, by in stimulating conversation, by learning something. You know, that's like, that's like a total turn on to you. Yeah, I'm a sapiosexual. Right. If my brain's, um, if yeah. my brain's not turned on, the rest of me is not going to be. Nothing else is going to be turned on. Right. So that kind of goes along with the attractiveness too, yeah. you know. Um, so we like big brains and you cannot lie. Da, 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 da. Um, okay, we missed a lot of these questions. Um, let's see, only fans when lol. No, again, Mike, I do not want to do only fans. We, Nancy and I, have discussed only fans. We have no problems if that's what you guys want to do, but that's not what we want to do with our lives, right. I've mainly it's this issue of control it's for me it is when someone's paying me to do the things that only fans do then they have control over what i do in other words i if i if it's up to me and what i'm doing if i want to you know wear like a thirst trappy type of bathing suit i'm i'm fine with that but if someone else is telling me to do that and no 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 yeah well i mean I would, 
just like I mean, I I'm not sure that OnlyFans. If I did OnlyFans, I'm not sure it would be any different than any other social media platform I've done. I would take that crap from people. It's like you can't boss me. Just thinking you're paying me, you can't boss me. You're like, not the boss of me. You're not the boss of me. So it it would it wouldn't it wouldn't work. I I would starve to death <laughs> if that if I was dependent on that. I would rather be. Like, I feel like what I put out is art. And so if people want to appreciate the art that I put out, the the products that I put out, the conscious, consciousness, you your right. It's your decision what you're right. putting I'm not taking. I'm not taking suggestions. No suggestions off. Right. So when people okay. say on here, dress in this or do that or take this off, they're, they're barking up the wrong tree. That's not what we're here for. Right. Exactly. Um, Kevin said the person who answered hit the nail on the head. LA really turned me off to shallowness. Yeah, I can see where LA would be a lot of shallow people because a lot of people come here to pursue the entertainment industry, which doesn't lend itself to deep thinkers. But I have met some really cool people. Pay me money, I'll squeal like a pig, no sheep. Okay, Mr. Bean, you goofball. Such a goof. I like watching you ladies decide to do. Okay. Thank you. Um, I don't know what that means. Thank you to David. Uh, let's see. I live in Boston, new here. I am from India. How can you find cougars like you here? Da, 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 da. <laughs> It'd make us life so much easier for someone who would just buy this book. This is the book you want to buy. It's F star CK games, date cougars on Amazon. You can get it copy like this or you can get the the um kindle version we'll get the best thing ever done yeah i don't think we'll get the best thing ever done it lol i don't know what that means but i think i gotta let nancy back in here again she she keeps getting shut down are you in oh she's in I don't know what keeps happening. You know what? I keep trying to scroll the, <clears throat> I'm not scrolling anymore. Cause the thing, the thing just keeps taking me out of the, out oh, of the. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Lost so, back your name. I'm back. Okay. She's We've back. got a few more minutes here. Yeah. So. Okay. So anyway, um, we were just saying while you were gone that um, reading my book would probably help a lot in terms of <laughs> where you find older women. Yes. And um, what you say to them and what type of bars they hang in and right. how you should dress and act and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. For sure. I mean, y'all, Karen's book is on Amazon. You can order it right now. Have it probably at your door tomorrow. Or have get the it read by, by next week. And then you can answer the questions for each other. Well, in the book, I have a guy that gave me like an entire list of all the cougar places to hang out on the East Coast. Like literally, oh, wow. this, was, this was like a goal of his. So it really is very helpful if these places are still around. It's been a couple of years. It's been maybe two years since the book came out. I don't know. But I'm sure that some of them are still, they're still there. And anyway, if you can't find them there, you can just go to any bar that has like a nice, like a piano bar or a steakhouse that has a nice little trio and the playing in the corner or whatever or go to karaoke or i know nancy likes the disco down go to a disco club <laughs> go to ladies nights <laughs> need a west coast list please. <laughs> ron you should come up with a list and i yeah i think um all of our all of our friends that follow us if you go someplace and you find that it's it's rich with really interesting mature women Send us a note so that we can add that to the show because people are always asking that question. Right. If you know so, uh, those bars that you are- You can like, be the scouts. <laughs> yeah. If you guys know uh, the bars that are like cougar bars, let us know. We'll put it at, on our list and maybe we'll put it on our Patreon pages. So if you want to find out the list of all lists, go to patreon.com slash Karen Lee or patreon.com slash Dr. Nancy Sutton. Is it Dr. Nancy or just Dr. Yeah, it's Dr. Nancy. On Patreon? Yeah. Dr. Nancy. <laughs> Dr. Nancy. Go and you can find us both there and then you can see the list. 
I'm also going to put a list, I think, I keep saying I'm going to do this, of my love list. Music to make love to list. Yes. Uh, Orange Skyline. I'm glad you're going to find it in the UK. I definitely know that it's, it is in the UK, too. Okay, good. Oh, good. right. All right. So we've got two minutes left. Two so minutes left. Two minutes. Karen. Left. What? Um, give, me, give me one sentence that describes your mission with your work. Ooh. Well, I'm, I'm here to have fun, break down some st stigmas of what you should and shouldn't say to an older woman, um, and open communication. And I hope everybody finds my podcast entertaining. I, that, that's right now my, my, major, my major focus is making that podcast happen. And of course, to find me on TikTok where I have fun. No, a list incognito is not to make money. I, I literally don't think it is. Because I don't think that if you have a goal to make money, you're ever going to make money. You, to me, money comes when you're doing something that you really passionately love. And then it comes up across that way to other people. And then you do end up making money. Yeah. How about you, Nance? Um, you know, I think for me, it's, it's uh, helping people see things through new eyes. Oh, very, yeah. very poetic. It's like, because I, I like making big shift happen. So, and, and usually that happens when you get a new perspective. And, and that was triggered for me in my yoga practice. And I'll just real quick, I was in downward dog and I was in my own studio and I was in a downward dog position and the lights were dim and I was alone in the studio just doing my own practice. And I was looking at the studio from an upside down perspective and saw the studio with these new eyes. And I just went, holy crap. All I had to do was turn upside down to see things in a whole new way. That's pretty cool. And, and that, that was like 20 something years ago. And that was just a big shift for me in to see you have to get up and move and get uncomfortable and to yeah. shift your perspective. So well, I thought you were going to say you were down in that person. You were doing a downward dog and you farted. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> But thanks for thinking of me. <laughs> All right. So fun. Sorry to the downward dog, because I have. Um, <laughs> I think everybody has. So find Karen, Karen Lee Potter or Karen Lee. Find me, Dr. Nancy or Dr. Nancy Sutton Pierce. We have to cut this short a little bit tonight because I have a birthday party to go to. And uh, we will be back next week. Right? Yeah. Right. We'll be back and, next uh, week. I hope you guys had fun. Yeah, we did. I always love to see you. I miss you. I can't Go wait to see you in person again. Go have fun at your birthday party. Bye. Okay. Elmo. All right. Much love. Much Bye. love. Bye. Bye.